Transport phenomena in biosystem, module 10, shell energy balances and temperature distribution. Segment 4, free convection. With me, Yusuf from School of Life Sciences and Phenology, Institute Technology, Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about shell energy balances, heat conduction with an electrical heat source, and force convection. In this segment, we will discuss about free convection. We will particularly focus on elementary free convection problem, namely the flow between two parallel walls maintained at different temperatures as shown in the right figure. A fluid with density rho and viscosity mu is located between two vertical walls a distance 2b apart. The heated wall at y equals to minus b is maintained at temperature T2 and the cool wall at y equals to plus b is maintained at temperature T1. It is assumed that the temperature difference is sufficiently small that the terms containing delta T squared can be neglected. Because of the temperature gradients in the system, the fluid near the hot wall rises and that near the cold wall descends. The system is close at the top and bottom, so that the fluid is continuously circulating between the plates. The mass rate of flow of the fluid in the upward moving stream is the same as that in the downward moving stream. The plates are presumed to be very tall so that end defects near the top and bottom can be disregarded. For all practical purposes, the temperature is a function of Y alone. An energy balance can be made over a thin slab of fluid thickness delta Y using the Y components of the combined energy flux factor. The term containing the kinetic energy and enthalpy can be disregarded since the Y component of the V vector is zero. The Y component of the term tau V would lead to the viscous heating contribution. However, in the very slow flows encountered in free convection, this term will be extremely small and can be neglected. The energy balance then leads to equation 1024 for constant K. The temperature equation is to be solved with the following boundary conditions and the solution is given by equation 1025. By making a momentum balance of the same slab of thickness delta y, one can obtain a differential equation for the velocity distribution as given by equation 1026. The phenomenon of free convection results from the fact that when the fluid is heated, the density usually decreases and the fluid rises. The mathematical description of the system must take this essential feature of the phenomenon into account. Because the temperature difference delta T equals to T2 minus T1 is taken to be small in this problem, it can be expected that the density changes in the system will be small. The coefficient of volume expansion is defined by equation 1027. This equation describes the balance among the viscous force, the pressure force, the gravity force, and the buoyant force. We can substitute the temperature distribution to get the differential equation as shown in equation 29, which can be solved with the following boundary conditions, and the result is shown in equation 1030. For the next module, we will discuss about equation of change for non-isothermal system. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.